Hello and welcome to an episode of Soul for April 10th, 2024. Let's start with this 2015 Dancy Swanson 23 of 23 Cracked Ice Panini Contenders. Um, this is a rookie card. Uh, he was drafted in 2015, uh, number one overall. This is a draft year card, Cracked Ice Refractor. I like the Cracked Ice Refractors. Um, serial number 23 out of 23, which is the last of the issue. People like that, 23 out of 23. Rookie card in his Vandy Colors. Um, so that's a pretty good one. I sold that for $18. Here's a Ronald Acuna. League Materials. Major League Materials. Tops. It's not a rookie card. It's a 2023. It's 2023. Um, patch. It's not serial numbered. I got it for like $4. I sold it for $7.49. It's pretty good. This is um this is a Julio Jones 2015 um Topps Chrome Red Mini PSA 9 serial numbered out of 5 where's the serial number um hold on there's a the serial number 4 out of 5 2015 Topps Chrome Red Mini PSA 9. I like this card. Um, I, I sold it at auction. I got it for I sold it for $26, which was a, a, a bit of a disappointment for me. But there's a couple things wrong with it. First off, it's a mini card. People don't like mini cards as well as regular cards. Um, and it's a PSA 9, which is not as desirable as a PSA 10. PSA 9 is still a strong grade. But it's not as desirable as a twenty as a PSA ten, um, especially for a modern card. And I consider this a modern card it's from twenty fifteen. Um, uh, modern cards should get good grades. It's, it's very re realistic to expect the PSA ten from a modern card. Um, so this is a PSA nine mint. So um, uh, it's a little bit less desirable, and the the mini part is less desirable. It's still a topped chrome. It's still uh, four out of five. It's still from 2015 which is a while ago um so it was a good card i was hoping for more like 50 dollars but i got 26 dollars at auction for it <clears throat> these next two this one and this one are part of a lot that i sold a brendan mckay lot brendan mckay might be a forgotten player at this point he was drafted in the first round of the 20 uh something like 2018 draft 2017 draft uh, he was a wonderful two-way player out of University of Louisville. Um, really highly touted, uh, but he just had and he became a pitcher. He was a pitcher and a batter at, in college, but he focused on just pitching once he got to professional baseball. And um, uh, he has not panned out. He's had an injury or two, and he just has not performed. He's not on pace to be a, 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 a even a starter or a contributor from the bullpen. Um, he's stuck in the minor leagues right now, and he's getting older. So this 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 guy is not easy to sell. So I sold this a lot for twenty dollars. Um, this got a Panini Elite Extra Edition from twenty seventeen, uh, serial numbered out of two hundred. Um, and then uh, this is a Bowman's Best twenty seventeen PSA ten, serial numbered out of one fifty. Um, so Bowman's Best is a is a good good card, sought after card. Um, PSA ten is a sought after grade. Serial number one fifty is a decent serial number. So this is a decent card. If the guy was a good player, this would be a good card. But he's not a good player. So I guess I sold the two of these together for twenty bucks, which is a which is a good sell. I looked it up uh, and I was comparing my my listing price to other cards. There was a um first Bowman Chrome serial number out of one fifty. Um, uh, PSA 10 for 10, 10 or 12 dollars. So that card is much better than this card. Um, the, the, the Bowman's Best 150, serial number to 150, uh, PSA 10. That, that, that card I saw is much better and it was only like 12 or 13 dollars, including shipping. So if someone wanted to buy mine too for 20 dollars, 
that's a deal. I mean, that, that, that's a, that was a good deal on my part. I took that deal, and I'm glad I took it. Um, these two were sold together separately. Sold separately to the same uh, same buyer. I guess there's an Alabama fan, but it's an O.J. Howard. Um, show numbered out of 15 autograph card from 2017. Uh, in the Alabama colors and uniform. Rookie card. Panini contenders. Playoff ticket. Um, it's a good card if the player was a great player. He's not a great player. He was a really good player for Alabama, but um, he's uh, he's not been a great player in the NFL. I think he's actually out of the NFL now. Uh, he had like three seasons where he was a, a contributor, but now he's not even playing in the NFL anymore. Um, so that card's not a great card unless you're an Alabama fan, but I think this guy's an Alabama fan because he also bought this one right here. This Ronnie Harrison uh, serial number out of uh, 99 autographed. Um a 2018 Panini rookie card. Um, uh, he's also in his Alabama colors and uniform. So um, together, well, the um, the um, uh, OJ Howard card sold for 10.49. Um, uh, the uh, the the Ronnie Harrison card sold for 7.49. And these don't include these prices. Don't include. Shipping. I'm not including shipping in these prices. Um, so I was happy to get rid of those. I'm not. So I'm not collecting um, those kind of cards anymore. I was happy to get rid of them for that price for those prices. That was good. Uh, and then um, this next one is a 2004 Press Pass uh, Eli Manning rookie card. Uh, I think it's a rookie card. No, it's not. It's not a rookie card. Hold on. Okay, yeah, it is a rookie card. Um, Press Pass does a lot of uh, college cards and college uniforms. So this one's in his Old Miss uniform and colors. Uh, it's called a Press Pass Big Numbers 2004 rookie card. Uh, BGS 9.5. So the BGS 9.5 Gem Mint is a, is a great uh, grade, especially for a 2004 card. It's almost it's a decade, uh, two decades old. Um, Press Pass is not as desirable as other brands of cards for football, but it's still uh, an okay card, still an okay brand. Um, uh, Eli Manning as a player, the excellent player for the, the Giants. His whole career he spent at the Giants. Um, he, he's a Hall of Fame Giants player, but is he a Hall of Fame general player? Does he even go to Canton? I don't think so. Therefore, I'm not collecting him. Therefore, I'm willing to get rid of this card. Um... Uh, I got rid of it for um, twenty five dollars plus uh, shipping for twenty thirty three fifty one, um, and I I mean that's that's fair. I was asking like I was asking like thirty seven for it. Um, I got a got it at the best offer. So that's fair. That's a fair price for the car. I was happy to get rid of it. Um, these last two are Vanderbilt cards. Um, this is a Stephen Shu Vanderbilt card. <clears throat> you would not know who Stephen Shu is unless you were an avid Vanderbilt football fan. Um, and there's very few av avid Vanderbilt football fans. Um, this is a the qualities of the the features of this card are good. It's a rookie card. It's an autograph card. It's a serial number out of ten. Ten out of ten. Um, so the features are good. The player is not great unless you're a Vanderbilt football fan. It's in his Vandy colors and uniform. Um, so someone paid. Uh, how much did they pay? Hold on. They paid ten dollars plus shipping for eleven ninety four, um, and uh, um, that's that's good. That's a good price. I mean, I, I looked it up and. To, to the the going rate for this card is probably like twenty five dollars. I was asking twenty dollars. So I, at first when I got the offer for ten dollars, I thought, you know what? Who's gonna buy a Stephen Chu card? The chances of another a buyer coming along are very low. So I accepted his ten dollar offer, um, and I, I sold the card. And then this card is a Jordan Matthews card. Jordan Matthews is a much better player. He played in the. Uh, he's the all time. Uh, SEC receiving uh, yard um, leader uh, when he graduated. I'm not sure who holds the record now. 
He played for the. He was drafted in the first round. He played, or maybe second round. He played. Um, he played uh, for the um, the Philadelphia Eagles for several years and was a good contributor. Then he played for the Bills. Um, now he's retired. Uh, but he played in the NFL, whereas Stephen Shu did not really play very much in the NFL. But uh, Jordan Matthews did play in the NFL. So if you're an Eagles fan, you're going to want his card. If you're a Vanderbilt fan, you're going to want his card. His card's more desirable. The guy also offered. Uh, it's, it's, this is a this is a 2015, so it's not a rookie card. His rookie card in the year was 2014, so it's a second year card, um, autographed, serial numbered out of ten, five out of ten. And, um, so it's got good features, and, um, someone offered me, the guy, same guy offered me $10, and at this point, I thought, okay, this guy wants these cards, he bought the Steven Shue card, the Vandy card, for $10, he's not now offering $10 for this card, I can counteroffer for, uh, $13, so I counteroffered for $13, and I, um, I, he, he paid, so I got that card, so, uh, you know, I mean, I was asking $17.49 for this card, uh, again, it, it's kind of a kind of a card that not many people are gonna want. It's more it's more desirable than the Stephen Shue card, but it's still a, a not not really gonna fly off the shelves. So if there's a guy out there who wants to pay thirteen dollars for it, I'll take that deal, and I'll I'll get paid for that. So um, those are the cards for sale that I sold um, um, for uh, April tenth, twenty twenty four. So uh, thank you very much.